welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today we're doing another uh, bracelet from a photo. Uh, and again, it's a photo I've had for a long time. I don't know where it came from. I don't know much about it. But let's, uh, let's spin it all the way around. That doesn't necessarily look great, but okay. Let's make it straight up and down. so touchy okay so we rotated it and now we're going to try a different tool this is the 3d transform tool and it's just going to let me sort of check that out sort of flatten that out awesome now we're going to take this and copy it bring it over here so i've already figured out that it's basically eight strings um kind of counted across and see how many how many knots were because there was not a lot of like uh, information to go from for it let me make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing and to pick a point to work off of so we can have a center we'll go off of one of these which goes all the way up to the edge right so I need to move this line right here and we're, we're gonna make the whole bracelet like one knot more and that's right in the middle so that's good all right. And then this floating layer, we're going to put that to a new layer. So we can just kind of move it around. Put it up here. It's a little bit crooked, but I can kind of get the gist of what's going on. So there is, we've got a gray one here. Let's uh, paint. Go to the right layer. Okay. So this one goes in the corner. It just goes in two. It skips one. It goes two, skips one, and then there's one. It comes out here. Two, skips one. Like that. Okay. So there's some things that are going to be kind of confusing about this. One is the string that they used is variegated, it meaning it changes colors as it goes along. So there's basically, it's just three blacks and two of whatever this color is, and the rest is a background. Um, we can we can make it look like that at the end if you guys want. I mean that's that's not a problem. But for doing this. Um, I think it'll be easier just to kind of pick a basic solid color. So uh, I'm going to go with a pink. All right. Um, so it's here. Then it skips one. Like that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And here. Oh, wait. Somehow we hit the outer line on that one. All right, there we go. So two skips one, two, and then one there. Cool. So there's an interesting thing going on with the, uh, the, the skipping thing, and that's how it's sort of creating these other line things inside here, which is sort of neat. Um, so now this one, this is the one that stays basically solid throughout it all. See? Yeah. And this is... Okay, so now I'm going to put guidelines in here. 
this isn't cheating at all. <laughs> this is, but this is going to make things a lot easier. So these guidelines basically tell me where this little zigzag is. And that makes it so I don't have to count each and every time. Oh, look at that. It ends right there. That's awesome. There we go. So now... Do, 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 do. It should be a whole lot easier to do these. So this it skips the first one. Goes all the way to the end over. Skips there. Skips there. Around the corner one. Couple there. Right. Why isn't it skip one here? Should though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's supposed to. I think it just doesn't look like it here. Maybe they missed it. Because it does it up here. Yeah, they missed a spot. Oops. Sorry to the creator. I didn't mean to call you out. <laughs> it's all good. There. So that's one side. Wow, this is actually going to go a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. All right, so now what happens on the other side? We need a new color. Um, We got a pink. Let's go with... Mm, let's go with this. So in here... It's two, two, one. I kind of, it's sort of making a little bit of sense. It's supposed to look like a straight line through these spots, I guess. Now I guess the dark kind of follows suit. Like that. Turns out this is a kind of a bit easier than I imagined. It again, they've got like a a string going through there making with like little sparkly stuff which sort of throws things off just a bit. Um, that's okay. There we go. So we can get rid of all of our darks with one quick... And again, this is, as far as like pattern making goes probably super easy because the strings aren't going all over the place. They're just following this zigzag thing. I think I made like a, a more complex version of this a while back that I really liked, made a whole bunch of them. I think, I think the video had something to do about my obsession. Um, but yeah, that was a, a 
like I said, like a more complex version. This isn't so bad, though. Obviously, judging by the original, this holds the possibility of having little mistakes. I suppose every bracelet can. But, yeah, this one is going to take a little bit of watching the pattern, make sure you're doing the things right. Again, that's kind of everything they ever make, but this little jumpy parts, that's the part that's sort of touchy, little avoid the mishaps. I'm not I'm not sure how like I'm not overly excited like sometimes I get really excited about making a bracelet this one a little bit nervous to be honest I honestly I, I can see trying to remember which way to go and stuff and there's a lot kind of going on and uh, trying to keep the bracelet really nice and straight when you have things that are zigzagging that can kind of warp the the shape overall of your bracelet so uh a little little hesitant to say i'm excited about this one but that said with the right colors this could be really really pretty and there's a good chance that i'll actually will do this with some variegated just for the fun of it. Um, I have the string. I might as well do something cool. This is a, a cool opportunity. The only thing is, is because I double it up, it might, I don't necessarily, you know, when you double up your string and you have variegated, you don't necessarily get the, the color fade to synchronize real well so you get kind of like a marble effect from the uh the colors still very cool um i don't know if you've ever seen the videos of me doing that um but yeah that can be a really really cool effect i don't know we'll see what happens maybe i'll uh, deliberately try to cut the floss to get it to line up Seems like it'd be a little bit wasteful because I might not. Yeah, I don't know. Meanwhile, these colors are going to get used an awful lot. Especially this black one down the middle. It's going to get used an awful lot. All right, there we go. So now, select by color, and now we need a background color. Um, the whole selection, it's highlighted, right? Did we do it? Yeah. There we go. So now we have a interesting background color. Um, let's do something else for fun. Like I said, we could do this, right? And we'll do it before we flip it so that way it'll go halfway and back. Um, so we can pick one of our strings. This time it's the orange one. And we can go over here to the gradient and let's see he wants to do a foreground to background so let's let's do that let's go from the orange for one and the other color 
We will make that a really dark one. All right. So we have this this orange selected. And if we choose to go from here down here, you can see it changes. So now let's try that with the pink. Let's go from pink some kind of a super vibranty red. And you can see now our color changes from up here, gradually comes down, becomes something different. So now our pattern is actually variegated. I don't know why. I just thought it'd be fun to show you in case you were ever curious how to do it. Plus, it's going to make my thumbnail look really cool. All right. Now I am going to copy the top half and then paste it down and then grab the flip tool, flip it. And slide that into place down here. Use my little arrow key to move that over. And there's our pattern. We did it. I think this looks amazing. I really want to like it. It's silly. It's going to probably haunt me. But whatever. I will, I will be making this next week. So um, before I go, I want to thank my Patreon supporters as well as my YouTube members for making all this stuff possible. It's, uh, you know, I need string to do this stuff, guys. It's, it's a fact. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for all your support and keeping the channel going. So really do appreciate that. And um, as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.